Well, hello, welcome back. So, yesterday I uh, changed the um, rear brakes of uh, my car, and today we are going to change the front pads, the pads only. I will try to make a little bit light so so as you can see these are pretty worn i mean yeah maybe it could work for a few kilometers but uh, if we did the rear we will do it on the front also and um, i did change the discs about two years ago there is some wear to them, but uh, they should be fine until this line is visible here. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if I would buy this type of discs again, because I think these channels are only making the pads wear faster. But yeah, they are efficient, so the brakes are working real good. But I don't know if I would choose the same discs again. But uh, they will be fine for now. And uh, we will use them until this uh, wear marks uh, will be not uh, be visible anymore. Uh, these are the new pads. So clearly there is some difference to them of the thickness and um, yeah we will get on to it first you, there are some uh, here there are some caps you need to remove in order so you can take down the brake caliper and uh, you need to take care there's a seven millimeter allen key so it's uh, pretty strange, it's not 6, it's not 8, so it's 7, so it's good to know you have this one before starting the, the work. If you don't have this, then uh, you need to get it before starting. Okay, so uh, we will be taking down the calipers and also cleaning here a little bit. Also these pistons, we will clean them. Uh, grease them a little bit and um, that should be it okay so I will try to put the camera somewhere let's see okay so let's see first we will have to push the piston back into the caliper and we can do this with the screwdriver so we will just put the screwdriver in and try to push the piston back the piston is on this side could be done afterwards but I think it's easier now takes a little bit of force So actually the piston is here and uh, you can see how much you push it back into the caliper it's uh, you can see it here be careful not to 
to break the gasket. Okay. So now we will have to take down these uh, two screws from here. Well, this is it. This come off like that. This needs to come out of the piston. Okay, so the pads are down and we can see that the, the outside one has uh, more, ta more wear to it. Okay, we can compare them to a new one and yeah, there is clearly a big difference at least on, on this one. Okay. Before putting these, I would take out these little sliders. This one doesn't want to come out. Okay. So these I would clean. Okay, so I'm just checking if uh, the new pads will uh, align with the channel already made by the old ones. Ah, yeah, it's a little bit interesting how they fit. So you have two options, you can take a little bit down with a grinder here, just a bit so it will fit here or you can leave them like this and they will uh, they will sit by themselves after driving a little bit but you have to be careful when braking because you don't have the full efficiency of the brakes yet I mean I don't know I think I will just leave them like this and, and this and they will uh, they will wear by themselves and it will be fine now this is the part where you need to take care when mounting this back to when mounting the caliper back these threads can break and I had this happen I think on the other side and um, to not to change the the caliper holder we call this the fork I think in Romanian I um, I used I made a bigger thread inside this and I went to a guy who welded everything and then it machined it down on a lay and uh, made a bigger thread on this piston so it can be done in order to avoid changing all, all this component here. Okay, so we can now put everything back on. Uh, we will use a little bit of grease on this piston. And yeah, that's really about it. The pads are marked which side comes to the piston because they are not exactly the same so this will go into the piston and this will go on the outside so let's put them back Thank you. 
Actually, you have to put the lower side in first. So that this part here will lock on the pads. Yeah, there's another piece of metal here. You can see this and uh, this should be behind the holder and the pad should be on the outside. Okay. This is it. We can push the brake a few times. So as you can see when pushing the brakes, the caliper adjusted itself to the right uh, and of course I cannot move this so easily even if it's out of, even if the car is in neutral. Yeah it's moving it's fine okay guys so this is pretty much what you need to do it's not that uh, difficult but you have to be careful take care of the nuts and actually everything else is uh, is simple okay so thank you for watching and uh, like subscribe and uh, we will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.